Um, two Greek words, two Greek words, Greek words, pos and phera. This pos means pose and phera means to bear. That means, in other words, we can say that that phyla polyphera. This polyphera has been derived from two Greek words that is pos and phera. Collectively, we call the poor bearing animals. This term, this term polyphera has been for the first time given by Robert Grant. Robert Grant, a scientist named Robert Grant in 1825. He has given this term. Robert Grant has given this term in 1825 and he called this hylum polyphera that these are poor bearing animals. These are commonly called as these are commonly called commonly they are commonly they are called they are called sponges. Which is one of the same either sponges are poor bearing animals. Though they are commonly called as supports. And as per the latest data, there are about there are about 5,000 species. 5,000 species known polyphalans. That is about 5,000 species have been known of, of this phylum. Of this group of this group of animals, phylum polyphera, about five thousand species are uh, known to be it. Now let's discuss one by one its general characters. The general characters of this phylum polyphera. It's its introduction. I can repeat that the phylum, the term phylum, has been derived from two Greek words that pose, meaning pose, and phera means uh, be to be at. That means commonly we call a poor bearing animal. And this term has been given for the first time by a scientist to name Robert Grant in 1825. And these are commonly called as supports. Now we will, and there are about 5000 species of this phylum polyphyla. Now we will discuss its general characters one by one. Its general characters. The first and most important character of this phylum polyphyla is that all the animals of this group are aquatic all the animals of this group are aquatic Aqu aquatic animals means animals lying in uh, survive in water mostly marine and few fresh mostly marine and fresh water also fresh water also the first important character of this phylum polyphyla is that all the animals of this group are aquatic that is they are uh, they are surviving in the water and mostly marine and few fresh or some fresh the second character of this phylum polyphyla is that they like warm waters like warm waters like warm waters they like warm waters and the third point is that the body of this phylum polyphyla show pores. They show pores. And the two main important pores are main pores are main pores are called one is called the inhalant pore that is ostia and the other is exhalant pore that is ostica. Exhalant pore. The next character of this phylum polyphyla is that they are diploblastic. They are diploblastic. They are diploblastic. 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 
that is they have their body have two general layers they are diplo blastic and if we go forward our next character of this phyla polyphyla is that uh, they have cellular level of body organization they have cellular level cellular level of cellular level of body organization body organization regarding the there is two system three types of canal systems three types of canal systems are there three types of canal system the next sixth character these are its general characters sixth character is three types of canal systems are there three types of canal systems number 1 Asconide, Syconide, and Leconide canal systems are there in phylum Porifera. Number next, they have intracellular digestion. Intracellular digestion. A cellular type of digestion is there. Cellular digestion takes place in this phylum. Intracellular digestion takes place. If we talk about the excretory system they remove the wastes they remove the wastes they remove remove the wastes remove wastes by diffusion by the process of diffusion through plasma membrane through plasma membrane if we talk about it is uh, excretion uh, they remove the wastes by their body through these pores by diffusion through the plasma membrane the next character The next character is that the next ninth character is that regarding the respiration, the respiration takes place or respiration and exchange of gas takes place by diffusion. Respiration takes place by diffusion through plasma membrane. Through plasma membrane. And respiration, type of respiration or exchange of gases in this phylum 